viewers in this lecture we will see about cousins of the compiler compiler already we know or uh, the tool which translates the one programming language into another programming language so here uh, we are having the compiler and other uh, tools in the language processing system so here why it is called cousins in the sense the preprocessor and assembler linker and loader are needed to process the one la programming language to convert into another programming language so uh, these are all needed with compiler to convert the source program into source program which are written in the one programming language and convert into uh, object program that is target machine code which is belongs to the another program programming language that's why these are all called cousins of the compiler as without these three tools compiler itself not use not used to process the uh, one programming language conversion into another programming language here uh, the preprocessors are needed to include the files that is header files and also other uh, c programming language files etc then macro processing that macro processors used to define the constants in the uh, header file section then rational preprocessors uh, needed to add the advanced tools or advanced uh, capabilities into the programming language then language extensions used to add additional capabilities into the uh, our program by using the preprocessors then we are having the assembler that assembler is getting the input from compiler in assembly programming language and process that assembly programming language and converted into the relocatable machine code here the dw in the sense a data defined sorry defined word sorry defined word so here the address of uh, this address 10 is assigned to the variable a so it means it alerts the memory locations to the variable a here for variable b we are assigning the memory address of 20 to the uh, variable b then the content of a address that address the address of the a cont cont content available in the address a move into the register one the register one is the temporary register which are available in the microprocessor then adding the constant 2 to the content of register 1 finally we are moving the content of register 1 into the b so which the b is stored in the address of 20 so here the assembler processing this assembly language and creates the targetable uh, re relocatable machine code then here uh, we are having the different kind of assembler one pass assembler and two pass assembler in the two pass assembler in the first pass we are finding the uh, identifiers and their storage location then it stores the identifiers in simple table already we know the uh, uh, components of uh, com compiler the compiler is having the faces uh, compiler is having the simple table which is one of the data structure mostly it will use the hash table data structure then the, uh, here for example the identifier identifiers a stores in the address location 10 b is stores in the address location 20 in second pass translates each operation code into the sequence of bits that sequence of bits uh, in relocatable machine code then uh, linker and loader is coming into the scenario uh, picture the uh, linker used to uh, link the external resources like header files and printf, uh, printf functions. Suppose if we are using uh, any mathematical uh, uh, functions like square root uh, and also uh, any graphics functions, then it links the external resources into the our running program. Finally, the relocatable machine code is created by the link uh, by the link. Uh, I mean uh, with the link, linking external resources then that uh, code will be loaded into the RAM 
so this is called this is uh, th these are all the tools needed to process the entire language processing system to convert into another programming language that is source program converted into target program so without the um, pre processor assembler linker and the loader uh, cannot convert the source program into target program so that's why these tools are called cousins to the compiler thank you for watching